How's the church? My name is Ompile. I am one of the leaders here at God First. Um, today is Wednesday of Passion Week. And the Gospels don't record anything happening on Wednesday. But what we do know is that at this time, Jesus was in Bethany. And we could get a slight hint of what he was doing uh, when we read Matthew 26 verse 6. So I'll read it and then we'll pick it up from there. It says this, now when Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the Leaper, a woman came up to him with an alabaster flask of very expensive ointment, and she poured it on his head as he reclined at table. And when the disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, Why this waste? For this could have been sold for a large sum and given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a beautiful thing to me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. In pouring this ointment on my body, she has done it to prepare me for burial. Truly I, have, truly I say to you, wherever this gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. So at this time, Jesus is with his disciples. They are at this house. Then this woman comes over and she pours this very expensive ointments, very expensive perfume on Jesus' head. And as this is happening, the disciples are astonished. They are shocked at what is going on. And actually, the disciple known to be the one critiquing what's happening is actually Judas, because Judas was um, uh, filled with greed. He loved uh, money. He was corrupt with the love of money. And as he's seeing this, he's seeing man cash going down the drain. And as Jesus is aware of this, Jesus says to these guys, he's like, this woman is doing a beautiful thing to me. Um, in verse 11, it says this, for you will always have the poor with you, but you, are not, but you will not always have me. So he's aware that this perfume is very expensive. This ointment could be sold for a large sum and the proceeds could be given to the poor. But he says this, he says that, but you will not always uh, be with me. And what Jesus here is teaching is that uh, we need to prioritize worshiping him. Um, this lady um, is spending all her money, um, she's giving all herself to Jesus. She's worshiping Jesus. And Jesus commends this. He says um, that what she is doing, she's doing a beautiful thing. Um, and she's taking this opportunity that she has with him um, to worship him. And something also that happens that is quite, quite profound, quite significant, is that she's not aware of this as well, and the disciples are also not aware of this. But what she's doing is actually prophetic, because at that time, um, of when, when, when there was burial, um, bodies would be covered in ointment and in spices, um, just so that the bodies could delay um, the decay and there would be a, be a better aroma around. And Jesus in a few days would be buried, um, he would be wrapped in linen, he would uh, be in the tomb as well, and he would then be filled with spices and um, ointments. So what she is doing, wow, it's, it's, it's actually prophetic, it's actually, it's actually huge, and the disciples at this point in time aren't aware of what she is doing, They're not aware, uh, and, Jesus, and, and the lady herself is not aware. But going to, to my first point that um, what this woman is doing when she's pouring this ointment on him, she is worshipping um, Jesus and Jesus is calling us, is calling us to that friends. He's calling us to be witnesses, to be believers that prioritize worshipping him. Um, in everything that we do, we should worship him. Um, there will be time for, for us to do great stuff with our money and um, great stuff with our time. But in all that, we should actually be prioritizing worshiping Him. Um, in the book of Corinthians, it actually says that everything that we do, whether we eat or drink, let it all be um, glory unto God. Um, so, so friends, that's my encouragement for us this morning, is that we should be uh, uh, witnesses and believers that prioritize our uh, worshiping Jesus. And you could be there asking, Peter, how do I then go about prioritizing worshiping um, Jesus and it could look like you may be driving at work on a Monday morning and you're praying and you're asking God to fill you with the Holy Spirit, um, asking God for, for guidance as you 
minister at your workplace as you as you interact with your colleagues because at that point you're not being dependent on yourself but you're being dependent on God and that's you uh, worshiping Jesus so friends uh, let us start this day prioritizing worshiping Jesus let us go um, in our workplaces in our in our homes in our schools and let's worship Jesus uh, friends, please do have a great day further and, and, and be blessed.